fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Faster, boy, faster! I'll Silver! Twilight was slanting down into the gloomy depths of Boulder Canyon. The last rays of the setting sun created fantastic patterns of red and purple and gold on the canyon walls. The Lone Ranger and Dan Reed, together with their stalwart Indian friend Tonto, rode slowly along the Rim Rock Trail. Be very careful here, Dan. I sure will. Remember, always let your horse pick his own footing on loose rocks. Ah, there's plenty of bland, bland place for a horse to fall. Oh, golly. Sure looks awful far to the bottom. We're nearly over the worst part. Trail widens out just ahead, and we can look for a place to camp. I'll bet the horses will be glad when this ride's over. Yes, they realize the danger and sometimes get very nervous. Ah, boy. Sure feels good to be riding on solid ground again. Those rocks are too slippery for comfort. Good mountain stream ahead. Good place to make camp. I don't see any stream. You can't see it from the trail. It lies hidden beyond the ridge of jack pine. Oh. Hey, the new Antano must have been through this country before. Yes, we were here several years ago for the same reason we're returning now. You mean about that escaped convict, Red Brewster? Yes, that's right. You see, Dan... Tonto and I were able to help Sheriff Ashley round up Red Brewster and his outlaw bunch. Yeah, but why would Brewster come back here? Because he knows the country like a book and has friends here who will shelter him. But mainly because he swore to get revenge on the sheriff. Well, then the sheriff will be on the lookout for Brewster, won't he? I doubt it very much. There's no telegraph near here. And there hasn't been time for the sheriff to be notified by mail that Brewster escaped from the territorial prison. Oh, golly, that's a good thing we got here before... Listen. Who's Silver? Who's Silver? Who's Silver? Hello. Those were rifle shots. Ah. Shots come from back a ridge. I think we'd better ride over there and investigate. And that plenty bad place for ambush. I know it is. Come on, Silver. Get up, Get up right, sir. Come. Later that evening in the town of Navajo Flats, a strange meeting was about to begin in the office of Sheriff Joe Ashley. The small group of men present were grim-faced, waiting expectantly for something or someone. Finally, old Jim Ellis, owner of the Rafter L Ranch, broke the silence. I don't know what it's all about no more than you do. All I know is that Jake Nelson wanted us to meet here in the sheriff's office tonight. Jake ought to be along in a minute. Might be. Jake's finally decided to agree with you boys about sending for this fellow Rod Blakely. I sure hope so, Sheriff. 
Blakely has the reputation of being the fightingest two-gun marshal in the Southwest. Yep, he's an outlaw buster for sure, Reagan. Yeah, that's what we need. Me, I'm willing to admit this job's too big for me to handle alone. And if you fellas want to send for Rod Blakely, that's all right with me. Mighty glad you feel that way about it, Sheriff. Look, here comes Jake Nelson now. Who's the stranger with him? Yeah. I don't know. Never saw him before. Evening, gents. Evening, Jake. Last time we got together, you men wanted to raise the money to send for Marshal Rod Blakely. Yeah, that's right. right. You still figure the Marshal could stop this cattle stealing here in the valley? Oh, with the sheriff helping him, of course. It sure is worth a try, Jake. Yeah. How about you, Sheriff? You want another lawman in here? I'm agreeable to anything that'll get the job done, Jake. All right. Now then, I got a real surprise for you, gents. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon you've been wondering who this hombre is I brought with me. Well, gents, I want you to meet the toughest two-gun marshal in the Southwest Territory, Rod Blakely. Well, say, this sure is a surprise. Mighty pleased to meet you, Mr. Blakely. Right proud to know you, gents. Howdy, Sheriff. You're more than welcome in Sage Valley, Marshal. We got plenty of work for a troubleshooter. Oh, go on, Jake. Here all along, we figured you was again sending for Marshal Blakely. Now, here he is. Well, boys, I got thinking it over and sent the Marshal word to come a-running. I reckon him and the sheriff will get along fine. Sure. We'll run them outlaw varmints into their hole and then smoke them out, huh, Sheriff? Well, we don't. There'll be some of the ranchers folding up before very long. That's right, Marshal. We can't afford to lose any more stock. Hey, Sheriff, there's some redskin out here who wants to see you. What's he want? Says he wants to see you personal. All right. Well, what's on your mind, Redskin? Oh, me bring message. Yeah? What message? Who from? Oh, well, here. You take it. Huh? What? Say, where'd you... Hey, just a minute there. Well, I'll be... Hey, what's, what's wrapped up in that note? Yeah, looks to me like a cartridge made out of silver. Yeah. It's a silver bullet. What does it mean, Sheriff? It might mean that the sheriff's office is going to have more help than they've been figuring on. What do you mean by that, Sheriff? Excuse me, Marshal, while I read this note. It was well after midnight when a pair of horsemen rode silently down the main street of Navajo Flats. Better leave the street now and come up to the sheriff's office from the rear. Ah, light burning in sheriff's office. Yes. I won't be in here very long, Tonto. Old Silver. Old fella. Steady Tonto. fella. I keep a sharp lookout. Signal if you see anything suspicious. Ah, me watch. Good. Ashley, I wonder if he could have... No. So, it looks as though Red Brewster got here before me. Shot right through the heart. I've got you, killer. Up with your hands. You're mistaken. I just found the sheriff yeah. here. Yeah. Get him up. Now keep him up. Mind telling me who you are? Marshal Rod Blakely. It looks like I happen along just in the nick of time. You're, uh... Marshal Blakely? That's right. And you're caught red-handed, killer. You're mistaken, uh, uh, Marshal. You see, I came here to warn the sheriff about... About what? About an escaped convict named Red Brewster. Who was coming here to kill him. Oh, too bad, stranger. You almost had a good alibi there. Just what do you mean? Red Brewster was shot and killed two days ago. Near Boulder Canyon. Are you sure it was Brewster? Yep. Just like I'm sure that you did kill the sheriff. I can prove that I was his friend. Prove nothing, masked man. There's a bunch of ranchers in town who rip off that mast and string you up to the nearest tree, and I'm calling them right now. now don't fire that gun. No? <laughs> Stand right where you are, mister, and don't move a muscle. Yeah, that'll bring him on the double quick. Yes, and you can tell them I wasn't able to wait. Yeah, what? All right, Tonto, say what? You drop gun. This night, plenty shot. Hey. Drop gun. Good night, Marshal. We'll meet again. Come on, Tonto. Hey, hurry up, you men. 
They're getting away. Out the back. What about the sheriff being killed? Can't see a blame thing out there. Get to your horses. Any idea who it was, Marshal? I know who it was. It was a masked man who calls himself the Lone Ranger. Oh, hey, there they go. All right, now listen, man. It's too much of a job for Sheriff Ashley to clean up this valley alone, and it's too much for me. I call this meeting tonight because I need your help. Every one of you. Well, you can count on the referee, Marshal. All right. We know there's just one man at the bottom of all this, and that's that masked man. That's right. Round up that masked man and his parts, and your troubles are over. Marshal's right. Let's get after that masked man. Yeah, come on. Well, let's get started right now. Take every man you got and scour the hills. Stay on that masked man's trail until you find him. Uh, good night, boys. Uh, Mr. Nelson. Yeah? I'd like to see you a minute before you leave. All right. What's on your mind? Uh, just step inside and shut the door. What do you want? <laughs> you know, if I was a fortune teller, I'd say that someday... <laughs> You're going to be an awful rich man. Yeah? Yeah. And if I was a fortune teller, I'd say that about the time you get awful rich, I'm liable to turn up awful dead. Cut out that kind of talk. You'll get your money when the job's finished. Yeah, I'm more likely to get a 45 slug in the back. You're a suspicious critter. Uh-huh. Careful, too. The way I figure, the uh, sheriff's out of the way. Joe Ashley was getting suspicious, too. Sure. Tomorrow, every cowboy in the valley will be out chasing this Lone Ranger gent. Uh, when they get home, I don't reckon they'll find much, do you? I reckon you know my plans. There won't be a pound of beef in the valley nor a building left standing. Sure. Of course I know your plans. What's more important, I know where all that stolen beef is right now. But You've been spying on I me? I sure have, Mr. Nelson. Or would you rather I use your real name? Never mind that. I know where that box canyon is. I know all about them hired gun slicks on your payroll. I know who Jake Nelson really is. <laughs> so you see, I uh, sort of know too much, don't I? I didn't say that. You don't have to. I don't trust you, Jake. I want my money. Right now. I'll get it for you in the morning. No, I get a better idea. Let's you and me ride out to your place and get it tonight. All right, come on. Fine. Just so you don't get any funny ideas, I'll just take charge of that shooting iron you're packing. Get going. couldn't have stayed for the last part of that meeting. Ah, them be plenty surprised. Yes, we'll have to act fast now. Here, ride to our camp where Dan is. Give him this note. Um, who note for? There's a regiment of cavalry stationed at Whitewater Bend on the Powder River. You go with Dan, but let him deliver the message to the commanding officer. You wait on the back trail to lead the troopers here. And see that Dan stays at the army camp until we call for him. Whitewater Bend. That long ride from here. I know, but it's our only chance. We're going to need the Army's help before we're through here. And what you do, Kimosabe? I'm going to see that our friend the Marshal stays in the valley until the soldiers arrive. Come on, let's get to the horses. Here we are. Steady, Silver. Ride for Camp Tato. Get Dan started with that message. I'm heading for the Ellis Ranch. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. I am Silver. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger, discovering the plot between Marshal Blakely and the ranch owner, Jake Nelson, sent Tonto and Dan to bring the cavalry from the outpost at Whitewater Bend. Meanwhile, astride the great white horse, Silver, the masked rider of the plains races through the night to Jim Ellis' Rafter L Ranch. Easy, Silver, steady, big fella. This is the Rafter L, easy now. There's the main ranch house where we'll find Mr. Ellis. Oh, Silver, oh boy, easy. Stay here, Silver. What's that? Who's that? Don't be alarmed, Mr. Ellis. You, the masked man. What do you want here, you sneaking varmint? I think it will pay you to listen to what I have to say, Mr. Ellis. Ain't See, nothing I... you can say to me, you killer. I'll prove to you that I'm not the outlaw you think. But first, I'd like to ask you some questions. Go to blazes. I ain't answering no questions for you. How long have you been losing cattle? Eh, hey, just as if you didn't know. I can help you, Mr. Ellis, if you'll let me. You know when we started losing our beef. And you know how many's been run off. Listen to me and you can recover all of your cattle within 24 hours. Uh, Oh. I know who's responsible for this rustling. I know who killed the sheriff. What's more, I know who burned your barns the other night. You do? Well, stranger, you sure got a convincing way about you. I hope so, for your sake. Eh, uh, what uh, is it you want to know? When did the rustling start? Uh, most a year ago. It was just in small dribbles at first, but lately them night riders have been making off with some sizable herds. Yes, I know. Today, those same night riders are planning to strip this entire range while you and your men ride through the hills looking for me. Gee, how come you know all these things? I make it my business to know. Now, tell me, when did Jake Nelson come to the valley? Jake? Oh, it's been about uh, three years. Why? I suppose the rustlers have struck at his place, too? Yep. Jake's diamond A spread has been the heaviest loser so far. I feel sorry for Jake. Yes, and you're going to have reason to feel sorrier. Uh, what do you mean? Jake's my friend. I suppose he's made you an offer for the Rafter L. Matter of fact, he has. But shucks, he's been buying up range land ever since he come to the valley. I see. Now, just think a moment, Mr. Ellis. Doesn't it strike you as strange that a man would lose as much stock as Jake Nelson has and still be trying to buy up these other ranches in the valley? Well, Why would well, a man want those other ranches when they're all losing money? Gee... Are you trying to tell me that Jake is I have positive to... proof that Jake Nelson is out to crush every ranch owner in Sage Valley. But, uh, nope. That's ridiculous, my man. Why, Jake is the one who put up the money to bring Blakely in here. Yes, and that's where our friend Jake made his biggest mistake. You see, Mr. Ellis, Nelson and the so-called Marshal are really partners in this plot. That's mighty strong talk, my man. Can you prove what you're saying? Yes, I can prove it. Will you give me the chance? Well, I'm willing to be convinced of the truth. Good. Now call out your men and hurry. At this hour of the night? Yes, there isn't a moment to lose. We have a lot of riding to do before daylight. All right, come on. We'll wait till I get the lantern. This will fetch him in a hurry. Come on, you ring tail red hands. Roll out. Outside, cowboys. Take a leg. Oh, get at us, boys. Come on. Yeah, I sure hope I let myself get took in on a slick scheme, mass man. You'll see in a moment that I'm working for you. What's up, Jim? Anything wrong? Hey, who's that tall jigger with the boss? That's the masked man. The fellow that killed the sheriff. Hurry rain up and walk back there, you wild galoots. Me and the masked man have been having a palaver. I reckon he's got something to say to you. Just one thing, mass man. Uh, Understand, I believe you're all right, and I'm willing to do anything to get my beef herds back. But if this turns out to be a trick, you won't live to play another one. Right. Well, I know just how you feel, and I don't blame you for being suspicious. Now, listen to me, men. Starting at daylight, every man in the valley is supposed to get out and scour the hills and mountains looking for me and my friends. Yeah. Now, that's why I'm here, so you won't have to look for me. Never cuss any. You men leave this ranch today. When you get back, the last of the Rafter L herd will be gone. And every building on the place will be in ashes. Believe me, it's the truth. The same thing will happen to every ranch in the valley that's left unguarded today. Well, what do you figure we'd better do? Scatter your beef herd so the rustlers can't run them off. Post a strong guard around the buildings. Then send a rider to warn every rancher in the valley to do the same thing. Every rancher, mass man? No. Warn every rancher in the valley except Jake Nelson at the Diamond A. Wait a minute. How come we don't ride to warn Jake Nelson, too? Because Mr. Nelson knows all about it. 
In fact, he's better prepared than we are. Now get to your horses, men, and ride. When Tonto left the Lone Ranger at Navajo Flats, he rode at a furious pace to the well-concealed camp near the canyon. There he explained everything to Dan, while Dan hurriedly saddled Victor the white stallion coat. Tonto gave Dan the Lone Ranger's note and instructed him to remain at the army post after delivering the masked man's message. Tonto would wait on the back trail and lead the cavalryman through the mountains to the Lone Ranger. After a breathtaking ride that would have killed an ordinary horse, young Dan Reed arrived at the army outpost where he was taken at once to the commanding officer. Captain Kennedy. Yes, Corporal? This boy wants to see you, sir. Oh, come in, young man. What's on your mind? Thank you, Corporal. You can wait outside. Yes, sir. Here's a message for you, sir. Oh. Hmm. Say, uh, who gave you this note? A very good friend of mine, sir. A lone ranger. What? I've heard of him. What's he doing in this part of the country? He ran into some trouble in Sage Valley. His friend, the sheriff, was killed, and now he's uncovered a plot to ruin all the small ranchers. Yes? So the lone ranger sent Tonto and me to get the cavalry. Tonto? That's the Indian who always rides with the masked man. Uh, who are you? What's your name? My name's Dan Reed, sir. I'm mighty proud to know you, Dan. I'm supposed to stay here in camp until the trouble's over with. Tom was waiting for you on a back trail. Mm, why didn't he come here with you? He said he wanted his horse to be fresh when he met you. He's waiting where the trail branches off to Boulder Canyon. This message says there's a man in Sage Valley posing as a United States Marshal. So I guess that makes it our business. Corporal Hayes. Yes, sir. Have the bugler sound boots and saddles. We're riding to Sage Valley. Yes, sir. Boots and saddles. Captain, the troop is ready. Make yourself at home until we return, Dan. Thank you, sir. Troop! Engine! fishy here. Well, that'll be it. That raptor rail herd's been scattered over a thousand acres. And it looks like somebody might have been expecting us. Hey, here comes your friend, the marshal. Something's going haywire for sure, boys. What about he's in such an all-fired hurry about? Oh, hold there. Oh. Steady, boy. Take every beef herd in the valley's been scattered. We sure can't drive no cattle out of here today. Maybe not. We can start some mighty big bonfires. Yes, Come on. Let's ride for the ranch house. You know what to do. Don't leave a single timber standing. Get up there. Come on. After you and Butch circle around and get that fire started. Me and the boys will take care of the rest of the buildings. They sure looks deserted, all right. Yeah, well, all come right, on. All right, boys, let them have it. Hey, look out, fellas. Look out, it's a trap. Spread out, everybody take cover. They're holding up in that house. We'll just keep them little dark and burn them out like rats. Listen, what's that I hear? Sounds like riders, Jake. Lots of riders. It's a cavalry from Whitewater Bay. Quick, Nelson, we got to make a break. we got to get out of here. Let's go. Come, come on, Jake, let's ride. Come on, come on. Come on. Jake Nelson and the marshal running away. Oh, Sheriff, uh, not Jake Nelson anyway. That yellow skunk can't run fast enough to get away from old Betsy. Hold your hat, Jake. Get dirty, fool cat. Betsy wants to talk to you. You got him, boss. Drilled him from center. Yeah, and I got one more for that marshal, Jake. Hold your fire, Ellis. I'll take care of the marshal. Here, Silver. Come on, Silver. Army. Look at the masked man. Look at him go after that marshal. Man, a oh, man, a oh, man. Just watch that white stallion go. And hey, the marshal, he's trying to make the river. The masked man got him, knocked him clean out of the saddle. Come on, let's get over there. Get up, 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 get
Boy, that tall jigger sure riled up all right. Yeah. Hey, look at the marshal's head. It's all bloody. Bloody my foot. That's hair dye. Marshal's red-headed. <laughs> so you're the Lone Ranger. I'm proud to know you, mister. Thank you, Captain. Glad to know you. Mighty glad you got here in time. Mm. Just who is the water-soaked rat over there? That's Red Brewster. Recently escaped from territorial prison. Brewster? Well, we heard he'd been killed just a few days ago. No, it was Red Brewster working with Jake Nelson, who killed the real marshal, Rod Blakely. Then Brewster took the marshal's credentials, disguised himself, and rode into Navajo Flats. He killed Sheriff Joe Ashley before we could get there. Mm. What about Nelson? I think your records will show that Jake Nelson served time with Brewster in prison a few years ago. Captain, I just want to say if it hadn't been for the masked man here, Jake Nelson and that red-headed scoundrel would control the whole valley by now. You're right, Mr. Ellis. Well, they sure got the needings, I'm here to say. The masked man showed me where the stolen beef was being held. Gee, where the dickens did that fellow go to? There he goes. He and the Indian who led us here. Oh, go on, I sure want to thank that on briefly. Hey, looks like they're riding away. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. Guess what kind of a fella is that masked man? Well, personally, Jim, I'd say he's about the best friend you'll ever have. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.